What's up everybody? I just wanted to share a uh, quick tip with you guys. Um, I'm sitting here doing that uh, Hot Bodies D413 buggy and uh, I'm setting up the linkages all around the car. Well, I wanted to share a quick tip with you and I always do it whenever I'm building kits and it makes building turnbuckles a heck of a lot easier. Um, a lot of times people are playing around with calipers and all that and trying to get them perfect. Well, you will need calipers for this. But this is the way I do it. It makes it real easy to at least get them set up um, quicker. So for this particular link, this is going to be the rear link for the rear hubs on the back of the car. So this particular link I need to do, it needs to be 20 millimeters now. And before I go any further, actually, let me make sure to mention too. Always pay attention to where that little notch is in the turnbuckles so that you can set them all the same direction on your vehicle. Um, it'll make when you're making setup changes um, easier so that you're not turning. You can turn them all the same way to add camber, lessen camber, etc. But getting on to the tip that I really wanted to share with you guys that makes setting turnbuckles up real easy is I take my turnbuckles and I take my calipers and I set them to what I need them to be. Now what I do is um, I'll take my link I'm trying to make sure that it gets focused as good as I can get it for you guys but what I'll do is I'll I'll take the uh, measurement that I need going by the book 20 millimeters for the center link okay now what I'll do is I'll center this caliper on my link and then I just count the threads that I have. So looking at this, it looks like I'm going to need two threads on the end, maybe even one thread on the end. I'll look closer when I'm not filming, but you can actually count the threads on each end so that you can set your uh, ball ends on there basically to where you need them and then you can find you can adjust them more finely using the calipers by tightening them or backing them off but at least doing it this way you know that you're building them symmetrically throughout the whole vehicle so just a quick tip I wanted to share with you guys um, just it helps me a lot it's something I figured out from messing them up a whole bunch of times um, so go ahead and uh, Share that one with your friends or whatever. If you're not doing it, I suggest you try it. So, all right, guys, back to the build later.